If we break our arms, it's, it'd probably be cheaper just to fly to Canada. Or I think people don't realize Korea is a, like, a first yeah. world, a, like super good country. Yeah. Also, I paid $7,000 out of pocket for an emergency room stay and a ambulance ride. This was the States, this was like a $30,000 hand, mm. so. What up? I'm from America. I'm Prescott. Hi, my name is Erdogan. I am from Seattle. Hey guys, how's it going today? My name is Brandon and I am from Maryland, USA. How long have you been in Korea? I've been in Korea for 10 years. I've been in Korea for 10 years. About two years altogether, I guess? I've been in Korea for too long. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've been here for almost five years and I love it, so I'm gonna keep staying here. Fighting. Have you ever been to a hospital? In Korea? Of course. <laughs> mm, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two times. Two times, yeah. yeah. What? Private. <laughs> I went to the Philippines and um, drank like bad water. We both came back with really bad symptoms, so we ended up in the hospital. But at that time, I didn't have insurance. It cost me like 400 or 500 dollars to look like. For what? They just gave me an IV drip. Oh, uh, yeah. That's like a <laughs> yeah, but if you don't have insurance in Korea, it's very expensive. Ah, uh, oh, let me show you. You guys need to zoom in. I broke my hand oh my God. in February of this year. I was very lucky because I was on E6 visa, mm. but at that time, E6 was not allowed to have um, Korean insurance. But I was still a student. <laughs> So um, I broke my hand, and then four days later, my insurance ran out because I graduated. But um, <laughs> this hand cost about five thousand dollars. Wow! Um, because of the student insurance and some other stuff, I ended up paying about a thousand. Wow! If this was the states. This was like a thirty thousand dollar hand. Mm. So what is it? probably it costs like in the states. It costs like six to ten thousand dollars to have a baby with insurance. <laughs> so without insurance, that's a... Uh, here's another thing about the difference between American, American <laughs> and Korean health insurance, health system. If you have a cold and or you're like, unless you're dying, you just like, your hospital is chicken noodle soup, Sprite, yeah, right. <laughs> and some vapor no, rub. In America, we don't go to the doctor if we have a cold. Even if you're like throwing up and really sick, we don't go to the hospital because it's, usually it's quite expensive and... Yeah, so like, like, I've actually had a cold. I still have a cold. I've had one for two weeks, but I'm not going to the hospital. Even in yeah. Korea? Ever, no, unless like I'm Me actually too. dying. Me too. Come yeah. so she comes It's a big American time. culture. Even if you get yeah, like we, a cut on your arm, you just staple it shut. Well, not, I'm not sure about <laughs> no. that, no. <laughs> but for some reason, whenever I'm in Korea and I get the flu, I just go to the hospital for the flu. They just give me a bunch of pills and I'm like fine after pain two relievers. days. But in America, I'm sick for like two weeks straight. Like no joke, I'll be in the bed like sick, dying for like two weeks. But here, I don't know if it's I pain relief, whatever they give me. My friends always like look into it, I'm just like, I'm gonna eat it, whatever. In America, because we don't have universal health care, it's all by private companies, so it's quite expensive. And then depending on what insurance you have, it could be really expensive. Capitalism. Yeah. Compared to Europe, Korea, it's, you are a citizen. In America, we have like this, the political system right now, so both parties are fighting. One party wants privatized, one party wants mm -hmm. universal. But honestly, it's just, I would, I would rather pay, right now I pay a hundred bucks, I would rather pay a hundred dollars more to better be safe than sorry. Yeah, you never know what's gonna happen if you break a leg today, like... If we break our arms, it's, it'd probably be cheaper just to fly to Canada or something. Oh if, if you had insurance there, yeah, it would be yeah. cheaper. Well, for a lot of big surgeries, like if you get your appendix removed or something, people do fly to Canada because it's cheaper. Yeah, but if you have good insurance, like my dad has really good insurance, so everything's quite cheap. And then his insurance covers everyone in my family. Until you're 26. I'm 26 or 28, something like that, it's yeah. 26. 26. I know, because I, I'm almost at the end of my parents' <laughs> insurance. If you, especially if you go into like the emergency room, you're waiting for yeah. like a long period of time. And then you're in the emergency room, and you're just waiting to be checked in. And then you're checked in, and, and you're room. waiting in the room for the doctor to come. Like, I've had to go to emergency room so Chris many times. Same. You have I, check I think in so. I haven't had like emergency room experience in Korea, so I don't know, but in America, it's a long, long process. Yeah. Unless you're dying. Yeah, like, unless you're dying, they'll like take you in, of course. Or unless you come on an ambulance. Actually, no. My dad came on an ambulance, and he, they also just made him like you, you know sit how much, in the waiting room. You know how much it costs to take an ambulance? $900. Oh my god. 
West with insurance, girl. <laughs> it's 2.5 without. That already. Ran. Okay, you, you, I, that's why, why do you think people at Uber wow. to the hospital? I got hit by a car about two years ago. And listen, I thought that it was easy to sue people in America. It's not. So basically, I hit him so, going on my bicycle, and he came across and hit me so hard, I broke his windshield, like, and then flew, like, maybe 10 feet out. And I, I'm still in litigation, trying to get that money. Also, I paid $7,000 out of pocket for an emergency room stay and a ambulance ride, and I still haven't got that money back. Yeah, the emergency room is very expensive. Yeah, but like basically I paid that, even though I'm not at fault, and I like still waiting for it. I feel like that's pretty normal in the US. In the US, yeah. Like in Korea, my friend got hit by a car, and then the driver just paid him $2,000 because he didn't want to get sued. Right, my friend was hit by a taxi here, and she broke her collarbone in her arm. And then it was just like, yeah, she just got the money so quick. Oh, <laughs> but in the States, it takes like super long process for everything. Yeah, I thought it was easy to sue people. I've seen the movies, it's not, it's hard. <laughs> My dad, he was driving on the highway and he drives stick shit. Mm -hmm. And uh, he just zoned out and then slammed the door on his on his finger. Oh my God. And like severed his, he's like chopped his finger off, yeah. okay? I don't know, this man somehow drove stick shit with a gushing blood. Drove to the hospital and was just like, da, 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 da. Oh and they arrived. And they're like, "Are you okay?" And he's like, "No." They're like, <laughs> he like severed. I was like, <laughs> he was just like, mm -mm. <laughs> not getting towed. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just get myself there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, if you live in the countryside, it's like 30 minute drive to anywhere. It's not like 30 minute drive in Seoul where all the cars are backed up. Like I lived in the countryside for a really long time. And so if you're sick, you have to stay at home. You don't really have an option to go like an hour away to a hospital. Oh, you're a country girl. No, you just drink yeah. yourself an apple pie and you Oh you my God, how do you out. drink an apple pie? <laughs> As an example, even without insurance, Korean without insurance is like American insurance price, if that makes sense. Mm. Why, do you, why do you think it's a, Korea is a big medical tourism place? Do you have a lot of like Southeast Asia or Europeans? Many people fly in here, mm. not even like plastic surgery or anything, but just my liver's messed up. <laughs> it's better healthcare yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doctors in America make a lot more than they do here. Yeah, for in my sure. Opinion. So much money. There's an interesting yeah. video on Vox about how like cab drivers in Cuba make more than doctors because the mm -hmm. medical system in Cuba yeah. is like based on communism. Depends on the country. Depends on the country. Make I think money. everyone in the world knows America is quite expensive when it comes to health care. No, they don't. I have all, all I talk to all these people from Europe and they're like, why don't you just go to the hospital or like uh, in the university, one of this girl that I was like mentoring, she broke her, yeah, in Korea, but she's American, she broke her leg like really badly and she had to get like a surgery for it. But her parents wanted her to go back to the States no. to do the surgery. It's not worth but it. their their doctor and their insurance said that it's gonna be way more expensive in America. And also she has to pay for the flight and like extra seating or whatever. So they told her to just do it here. She did it here and she was perfectly fine. Yeah, the Korean medical system is it's cheap in comparison to America and it's uh, easy for everybody to have. 100%. Yeah. No. I think people don't realize Korea is a, like, a first yeah. world, a, like super good country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys got good trains and buses. And, yeah. But when people say, I think it's like when Americans or foreigners say, like back home say Korea, they're like, mm. <laughs> yeah. oh, you're gonna do the surgery on you? Nah, Korea got flying cars kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, I think the big takeaway for both of us is that it's a lot easier and cheaper to have healthcare in Korea in comparison to having healthcare in America. And that's, no matter if you're American, no matter where you go, it's probably gonna be cheaper. Yeah. Compared to America, it's better because in America, when you go into the hospital, so just for the doctor pre, like, talking to me, whatever, minimum $200. And then getting the medicine, that's even like extra, like added money. But here, you're only paying 20,000 won. Don't complain, please. <laughs> please don't complain. Oh, all I'm going to say is when you go see a spe you know the specialist? Mm. They're like $200 That's, a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. All, I, all I can say is go break your foot in a, in a, in a third world country. <laughs> and then see. And then you're going to be so happy having that Korean insurance. That's all I'm going to say, man. But as a tourist, as a tourist, you don't really have insurance. I think you'd be paying way more money as well. 
I love Korea. 한국어 보험 사랑해. Just get your insurance wherever you are. Just just get insurance because you never know. How do I feel? Uh, hungry. Hungry. <laughs> if you guys like these kind of videos, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave in the comments below what kind of stuff you guys want us to talk about. And bye. <laughs> bye.